recently I made this knife right here and put the video on my other channel, my main channel. Um, I've made a lot of knives over the past few years from a lot of different things. This one is made from this shovel, the edge of it, and the handle is made from concrete that I cut out that was broken up in front of my house. Other knives that I've made is this marking knife from a sawzall blade, whittling knife from a sawzall blade, carving knife from a 3 8 inch drill bit, wooden pocket knife, pry bar knife, and I made this, I guess you could call this a hunting knife, and this is made from a cold chisel. And this is another wooden one, except this one has a blade that's supposed to look like Damascus steel. Oh, I forgot to mention my wooden utility knife, which I use quite often. I also have out here with me the knife that I reshaped, my kitchen knife. Okay, so why am I showing off all my knives? Well, every one of these knives that I've done, I made a video for. And without fail, every one of them has gotten comments regarding the choice of material used saying that the steel is no good for a knife and also the method of shaping and the fact that some of them I didn't harden and temper. The few ones that I did harden and temper, well there's been criticism of those too. So in the beginning I answered some of the comments saying that the steel that I use is acceptable for making a knife. You have to put everything in perspective, you know, if you want top of the line everything then obviously it's not the the material you'd use but if you just want a knife to cut things with like most people do then the steel that I'm using will work fine especially you know if you're taking the steel from a cutting tool an actual tool like a sawzall blade is made from high quality steel a drill bit is made from high quality steel also a pry bar is made from high quality spring steel so when it came to the shovel <laughs> Well, a lot of people took exception to that because it's a shovel after all. I mean, how good could the steel be in a shovel? Well, I'll tell you, you look at what a shovel does it day in, day out. When you're using it, you drive it into the ground. You're prying on it. You're lifting. It has to have a lot of strength. It has to be tough steel. It has to be resilient. It has to be hardened to the point where... It will be strong enough to resist wearing out and also flexible enough to stop breaking. So in actual fact, it would make really good steel for making a knife because it has all the qualities that you want in a knife blade. The other comment is edge retention and that's specifically what I want to address today. A lot of people say, well, okay, it looks like a knife and you can stab with it. But, you know, the first thing that you cut with it, the edge is going to wear out or it's going to break. And I'm going to do a simple test in this video to show that that's not the case. I'm going to use my wooden utility knife with a fresh blade right from the package as kind of the control. If you can find, you know, better steel in a, you know, a lower cost and a sharper blade than one of these here, and the test is going to be to cut rope. That seems to be the standard test for um, knife durability or edge retention durability. I've also got my concrete knife here that I, you know, took a little bit of time to tune up. And I've also got my kitchen knife. Now the rope I have, I've only got one kind of rope to use for this and it's this fairly thick this is 5 8 inch and it's a nylon I think or it's anyways it's some kind of plastic rope I know that the, the usual choice for this thing is something like hemp rope uh, I'm not sure if hemp rope is more abrasive than this type but I know that this is difficult to cut. Anybody that's cut one of these will know they're difficult to cut. So, got that set up. Got my three knives ready to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut paper with them. So I've got a piece of paper here. It's just standard printer paper. And take the knife and draw it through. That one doesn't have any problem cutting. Do the corners on every one of them. 
This one doesn't have any problem cutting. Oh, that one hung up a little bit. Maybe that's not as sharp as it could be. Anyway, I'm going to call them sharp enough. Now, the idea of this test is to cut the rope with the knife and then cut the paper again and do that continuously until the, the knife won't cut paper anymore. Okay, I'm going to come back about two inches, take the knife and push it down and pull it back. Cutting through like that. You can see how difficult that is to cut. Now I'll take the paper and see if I can kill it, still cut it. Still cuts. Next one, my concrete knife. Cut cleanly through. Let's see if it cuts paper still. Still cuts. The kitchen knife. And paper, no problem. I'm just going to continue doing this with the camera running until, you know, I either run out of rope or something stops cutting the paper. All right, we can see right away that the concrete knife still cuts paper, but it's hanging up in certain spots. But it's still cutting, so I'm going to keep going. That's one, two, three cuts so far. Okay, the concrete knife is starting to get a little dull, but it still can cut the paper, just not as easily. I think that the concrete knife is no, it's still cutting. Depends upon which angle you take the paper to it. So we'll go a few more. The opal blade is starting to hitch as well. So kitchen knife is still razor sharp. It's amazing how well this is holding an edge. And if you recall, I did a lot of grinding on this freehand on the belt grinder. So if grinding, you know, ruins the temper, what happened here? Now, I'm not only cutting through the rope, I'm cutting into the wood here too. So that's pretty hard on it. This is pressure treated wood. Uh, it's still cutting. Uh, as long as it still cuts paper, I'm going to keep going. Flashy paper. So this is going to be the end. Look at that. Look at how sharp that is. Yeah, the 
the Ulfa knife, I can look at the edge and I can see that it's starting to get too dull. And the same situation, although I can't see as much on the edge of this one as I can on that. The, the Ulfa blade is harder than this one, therefore it's more brittle. It will stay sharper longer, but when it does start to go, it'll, it'll fracture rather than round over, like this is doing. So this is still cutting paper. I'm beginning to think that this knife is made out of some special material. <laughs> yeah, it's getting... I would say that these two are even now. Yeah. Like that, this knife in the kitchen, wouldn't you? Come here. Stare at it. Not very clean. I've made some boring videos before, but unless you're, you know, really into knives and you really got an open mind about this type of thing, this is probably not going to be a video that you're going to enjoy. Okay. I'm just going to keep going, folks, until sawing through this rope gets too difficult or I cannot cut paper at all and that looks like it could be a while so I'm going to shut up and put this on fast forward again Okay, I think we're there. It will still cut, but not easily. And the same thing goes for the Ulfa knife. It will cut, but it won't start in the paper anymore. Even if I hold it in close, it just tears it. So... And that goes. I'm going to say that this is a little bit duller than this. And this is way sharper than both of them put together still. Because it has no problem whatsoever cutting through paper still. I could probably shave with the thing. But I'm not going to. Okay, impressive results, especially from this one right here. I never thought that I could get that much cutting out of this <laughs> knife, and it's still not. When I look at the edge, it's still as keen as when I sharpened it. So it cuts paper like a dream. No problem. The uh, concrete knife held up pretty well for something that was made from a shovel. Not heat treated, not by me anyway, just the original heat treat from the shovel. And as you can see, that 
you know, the edge did hold up reasonably well. We did all this cutting. And I'll tell you that this rope is hard to cut. Especially when you consider that it, you know, ruined this really good Ulfa blade. And although the knife is not sharp enough to cut paper anymore, it's still really sharp. It doesn't have any problem carving away this hard maple. It's kind of hard to chop with this knife because it's so short, but I'll give it a try. And as you can see, it still cuts paper reasonably well, even after cutting all that rope and chopping through the hard maple.